Right, okay, so I think we are pretty much back to where we were. So, magnetron's all plugged up, thermos switches in there, got power cables going through. That's all got its cables through. It's earthed in the back there, and that comes through to here. That switch is made. Uh, sorry, uh, connector's made. That connector's made in there. Uh, it is obviously loose in here at the moment, but we'll see how it goes. These cables are all through. Uh, coming along here, looking down through, earth on, and the ground, they're all on there. I've replaced it with another 13 amp fuse. I'm just using this for testing. I've blown enough of them now. I'll save the good ones for through. These all connectors look to be going through. The one helping thing that was quite uh, useful in here, despite obviously having the, the, the video, is that a lot of these connectors were sized specifically to take individual connectors. And then when it got a little confusing, when you got down to these two, uh, the which is the your live coming in, your brown and your blue, um, they actually do say, well, it did say, brown and blue on the board. Um, had a little moment over here was if you take a look, there's like a little null there, null there, null there. And then on the white one, for some reason, the null's on the other side. And that seemed to be uh, in line with what was on the, um, what was on the uh, video. Uh, coming around the side here, this was loose initially. That's now back in and solid. All these switches and door switches are made. And key thing really, I had all the spare parts inside. They're all now out so that I'm not going to start sparking the place up. And um, I'll go get a glass of water. Uh, the one thing key worth noting, well, which I noticed when I was going through, I don't know if you can see through here, but basically this is warped. Basically is the, the plastics warped slightly in. Uh, that was where I initially thought might be my problem there. I'm not sure. It's not a great shot, but, but just up in there, which is in line, sorry, just up in here, um, which is in line with this capacitor here, um, it, it looked like it was touching. Now, it's obviously got like a little spacer there, but what I might do is look to put another uh, spacer in just to stop this sort of warping going in, if that was what's causing the contact. Clearly, once I had a clean out of that on the back, it was minging. So um, I'm, I'm sort of hedging my bets, might be back in the game. If this doesn't work, then um, I'm taking these two boards out because I believe them, one of them to be the problem. I'll take it to Electronics Engineer. Someone local. I mean, it's it's always good to sort of find someone who's got uh, that type of skill set. The key thing really is getting yourself there to the point where at least he's just going to solder in and, and change out a couple of caps or uh, diodes. Last thing you want is him charging you for magnetrons or flipping, uh, replacing entire um, uh, power supply boards and stuff because once he's starting to disassemble and all of that or worst case you get someone to come to the house to do it they're going to charge you the moon so this is all about self-help guys the key thing really i can't stress this enough is just this is live make sure it's plugged off of the uh, turned off of the wall unplugged if possible kill the circuit breaker on your on your uh, uh, on your main uh, ycd board and then also just throughout the whole process, just be incredibly careful. Insulate yourself where you can. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit of a cowboy. Don't, don't you know, do as I say, not as I do, so to speak. Uh, and clearly, uh, this is just my opinion, how I go to get about doing things. Uh, and uh, please don't go electrocuting yourselves. All right, guys, so there we are. We're, uh, we're just coming out to game time. Uh, Going to give it a go now. Uh, so. Fingers crossed. Eh? See how it goes. I've gone through and done uh, all the necessary pre-flights, as a as you kind of hope, and uh, we'll start turning it all on. So first things first. I'm gonna go turn it back on at the wall. So oh, we heard something click there. No initial smoke coming out, which is always a good start. So uh, they're all holding on to that piece. I don't think we've lost a fuse as of yet. I hope. Uh, back to where we sort of started at the start and I think with this model key thing really is uh, starting with getting the time uh, 11.35 not too hard to do and there we go so time's good I'm going to kick it off with a um, just a bit of uh, 
bit of uh, convection. Okay, so that's a good start. Lights on, doing its thing, cracking on, and going through getting up to temperature. So, a quick walk around. To be fair, uh, prior to this all going, this wall sort of worked okay. I just wanted to make sure I was in the right neck of the woods with it all. Fan's working, so that's good with a cooling fan. Uh, and I think it's, uh, we'll go and stop that and then look at the microwave option. So clearly if I just open this, it stops on there. So any microwave option would have, would have stopped, but I certainly I still sort of feel some heat. Uh, so let's take this, I'll put this down on the bottom, bottom tray. Get rid of that. Okay, time for a uh, a tester. Door closed. Back to central. Now we're getting into the now we're getting into the big stuff. Going to go for. I tell you what, we'll go for just the the ninety. One minute. Let's hope oh bugger moments are over. Nah, blew the fuse. Okay, <laughs> round five.